Hi all folks, this is Max from NexusSHacks.com. Uh, so I finally figured out how to Wi-Fi tether for free on Sprint Nexus 4G um, in AP mode, not ad hoc mode, AP mode. It's actually really simple. Um, you can use this by downloading Wi-Fi tether app. I'll walk you through. Um, first, you'll have to have a, a rooted Nexus S 4G. That's the only requirement. If you don't know how, go to NexusSHacks.com. I have instructions there and go to um, download androidrom.com or you can just uh, open the link um, I'll have in the description in this video or on the blog post link to this video and if you go to download androidrom.com let me uh, zoom in you'll be able to find this uh, APK right there hit on the APK and uh, if you zoom in more, um, you'll find Wi-Fi Tether. Hit on Wi-Fi Tether. And Wi-Fi Tether, you can download the uh, latest version here, um, version 3.1 beta 11.apk. Uh, you can use the older versions too, it doesn't matter. Just download any version, they're all pretty much the same. Um, and then zoom in and wait, wait five seconds to download and you'll get that link hit click to download and it will download the file to your uh, phone and you can swipe down to see um, it's downloading and once it's downloaded it, um, by um, alright click there um, if you if you don't get an installation thing you can install um, ES file explorer it's free on the market get that and simply browse to um, let me see your favorites. Go to your um, whoops. Go to your SD card. Let's go to home. Oh, they'll give you. Ash. Go home and it'll get you to SD card, um, and then go to download folder. Download folder. You can hit that to make it into a list, and go find the file you just downloaded, which is the Wi-Fi Tether app. Click there and you'll get install blocked if you haven't set this hit settings go down to unknown sources check it on click OK and hit the back button and then um, install it again click on the Wi-Fi tether app OK install now it's installing and uh, open and close that and let me unzoom a little bit zoom out and hit the menu button settings button and uh, change device profile to um, uh, galaxy uh, change it to Samsung Galaxy S right um, and then change setup method and set it to net D master this will get you into AP mode access point mode so you can connect multiple devices and uh, you can see it from um, your other phones um, so you don't need ad hoc and also enable uh, Wi-Fi encryption um, let's name this um, I humped your mama Alright, and I'm going to change the SI, SSID to um, humping your mama. <laughs> Alright, and then uh, change channel. Uh, I, I recommend the 11 is good, pretty good. A lot of people are not on 11. And uh, down here, make sure routing check is fixed. And we should be all good to go. And hit the back button. Hit start tethering. Make sure hit allow when you get super user request. And uh, I don't get 4G signals in my basement with my Nexus S 4G, but I already tested it. 3G and 4G tethering works fine on any rooted Android smartphone. And let's get my Galaxy S2 here. Oops and we'll connect to it and you'll see it um, 
you'll see show up that it's connected when it connects it. Wi-Fi on. Um, let's go find uh, I helped I humped humping your mama. Let's connect to it. Let's put our password. Um, I hump your mama. Connect and it should connect and you should see a little thing that's coming there. It says connected. Uh, give it a, one more second. Oh, it's not showing. It's not showing. Well, you can hit the um, show log. I think it will show you. Um, let me see. Well, my internet's working. I think, yeah. So it's connected. Um, I don't know why it's, it usually shows up here. Access control. Oh, there you go. So it didn't show up. Usually it shows up with a little thing. But you can see I've connected um, with my Galaxy S2. And I'll show you two again. So, um, and I, I can connect multiple devices. I'll show you that it's in AP mode. Let's connect my Galaxy S2 T-Mobile version. Um, so it took me a long time to figure this out. I found this on XDA thread. Finally, somebody put it there. But uh, let's go to humping your mama again. I hump. Oops. Humped your mama. Oh, now I. Let me do this one again. I hump your mama. All right, it should show up on the left. Obtaining IP address. Connect it. Um, you should see. Let me try to refresh this. Well, there you go. Now I've got two um, connected, uh, and it works for. 4G also if you're connected to 4G on this um, now you can get free tethering um, no you don't have to pay extra on your uh, Nexus S 4G on any rooted Nexus S 4G and if you like this video don't forget to uh, subscribe to my email list at galaxyS2root.com uh, where we update you on ROM of the week um, hacks and tips like this uh, once or twice a week whenever I have time it's just for you and me we don't share your email with anyone else um, and also, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button and subscribe button up here. And you can share it with all your friends who have Nexus S 4G so they can now get free tethering on Sprint 3G, 4G. And uh, thanks, you guys, for supporting my YouTube channel. Um, thanks, y'all. It's been a long day. Um, I'm going to call it a day. See y'all later. Don't be a hater.